Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you all how to use while loops in the Java programming language. Alright, and we'll go ahead and get started as usual here. Make a new Java project. And we will call it while loops. within it make a new class which we'll call while loops as well okay now I'll zoom in here so we can see okay maybe zoom out a little more all right so now, a while loop is a structure in Java that allows repeating of program logic until a certain condition is met. Basically, you have a Boolean expression, and as this expression is true, then the loop will continue to execute. Now, I'll go ahead and demonstrate this for you. method first and Okay, now what this is going to do is it's going to check this Boolean expression first. Count is less than 5. And count is less than 5 is true. And since it's true, this loop is going to execute once. So it will go, it will start from here and go to here and then check the, check the condition again to see if it's true. And as long as this Boolean expression returns true, then the while loop is going to continue to execute. So basically what's going to happen is count is equal to 1 the first time I go through the loop, and you see I increment it as the loop executes. So it's going to output 1 and then 2, and as long as I can go until <coughs> this condition returns false. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you. Count is equal to 1, count is equal to 2, count is equal to 3, count is equal to 4. So this loop was able to execute four times because count increments itself here. So it's two, three, and then four. And on the last one, when it, it says count is equal to count, which is four, it goes to five here. Then it checks this Boolean, con Boolean expression again and it's 5, and 5 is not less than 5, so the Boolean expression returns false, so this loop stops executing. We can go ahead and change the number here to say 50, and the loop is going to execute a lot more than it did before. I'll go ahead and just demonstrate that for you. See, it went all the way th from 1 to 49. 
<coughs> until this boolean expression returned false, which was when count was equal to 50. Um, you can, you're probably wondering uh, what will happen if this boolean expression is never false. Basically, you have an infinite loop, and um, that will just cause the program to lock up because you have a loop that never ends. Say if I remove this, I'm at not actually going to run it because it'll end up in an infinite loop. And um, you see, if I did this, count would e be equal to 1, and it would continually be true. Count would always be less than 50. So this would just this loop would just run through over and over and over again, and uh, that's a bug in a program that you want to watch out for. Okay, now I'm going to show you something a little bit different. It's called the do while loop, and there's not a whole lot of difference here, but um, it's uh, it's slightly different, and I'll I'll show you how that works. <coughs> Okay, here we have um, what is called a do while loop. And the main difference between a do while loop and a while loop is that the do while loop will always execute once. The reason for that is because it checks its condition after it's been executed at least once. As you can see, the program executes and sets count equal to 1. Then it reaches this do loop and it goes through and executes the statements once and then it checks its condition here. And uh, you'll see that although count will be equal to 1, and this boolean expression is going to return false that it's going to execute at least once because it doesn't check this condition until the end whereas the while loop checked it at the beginning so if you need a program to execute at least if you know you need something some statements to execute at least once this is what when you would want to use a do while loop See, count is equal to 1. If I had this in a while loop, it wouldn't have executed because it would have checked this Boolean expression first. And, uh, of course, I can just demonstrate to you that it works the same as a while loop and that it loops through. And it went up to 49. Yeah. So that's pretty much how do while loops and while loops work. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.